Oh, right. hand over your valuables, or I'll gut you like a fish. Walk away right now. I don't have time for this, and I'm not in the mood. Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. It's been a few months since we defeated Lord Harkon and his minions. Nomadis has officially retired from adventuring after numerous, numerous beatings that he's received. He's, you know, he's going to settle into his uh, twilight years and you know, recuperate and got plenty of gold, plenty of money. I'm, I'm glad to see him you know, off the front line. So, Yisran, I'm glad you could join me. I received a very startling message. Let's go ahead and look at my notes. I've heard a rumor that a vigil of Stendar caravan has been attacked on the road somewhere in the Reach. I should investigate. I'm glad you agreed to join me. Come on, let's go. I know of your ties with the Vigilant. I couldn't think of anyone else to call on for a situation like this. With the Vigilant spread so thin after the, the vampire attacks and half of the, the Vigilant being ensorcelled by vampires and destroyed, They need all the help they can get. <gasps> what? Where'd you come from? Oh, um. vampire! One less monster in the world. Look out! There's more. Got him! What was a vampire doing here? And there doesn't seem to be any sign of its remains either. Which is quite odd. Goodness, what's going on up here? All these skeletons and bodies. Got you. No, oh, no, it's a vigilant. A necromancer. Ambush orders. The Vigil of Stendar will be passing Markarth with the book in their possession. You will do whatever is necessary to ensure it falls into our hands. Leave no survivors. When you have it, see to it that you return to Raven Scorn Spire immediately. Signed A. No, this is terrible. Look at the loss of life. Vigilance escort orders. Nicholas, 
the accursed artifacts that were confiscated from the College of Whispers. What? The Whisper College? No. Carry the taint of heresy and evil such as I have never seen before. Although I am loath to involve yet more wizards in this calamity, I fear the College of Winterhold is the only neutral magical institution capable of aiding us in the destruction of this foul item. I trust you and your knights to safeguard the artifacts on their way to Winterhold. Beware the mages, however, in their unseemly pursuit of knowledge they cannot be trusted or expected to withstand its corruption. Stindar be with you, Keeper Tristan. Hmm. I'm not sure what this means. There's some book? What's in this chest? Crafting feathers. The Book of Daedra. It's one thing I have to say about the Vigilant. They were always well read. they had enough of these um, tonics. I was quite low on the cure disease tonics after the vampire incursion. Alright, Isran, I think we're done here. Let's see, where do we need to go now? Looks like we're going to Raven Scorn Spire. I, I read the ambush orders. We're headed to this abandoned prison, or... I'm gonna go to the Mixwater Mill. That's you casting the glow, Isran. Okay, I got it. All right. Looks like it's up this way. I'd actually be more comfortable doing this in the daytime. What time is it? It's almost midnight. Oh, All right, what? hand over your valuables, or I'll gut you like a fish. Walk away right now. I don't have time for this, and I'm not in the mood. Well, I uh, can see you're not one to be trifled with. Let this be a warning to you. Now let that be a warning to you. Let's see what she's got. Ruby, gold... Really nothing. She's pretty bad at being a thief unless she has something stashed away somewhere. I'm not sure how to get up. Here, maybe the path... Well, this looks like it's going away. From our goal. Alright, let's see. What have we got here, 
Mercedes ran. Your bones creaking. And there's something glowing here. Both of you! Oh no, what's this? I see more people. It's really too dark out here. What is this crimson nerd root here? Blood root? What? It's poisonous. so dark in here. Oh, there's Isran. Good. All right, they're going to know where we are. Ran, I thought you were going to be a lot more active than this. Bound dagger. Okay. <gasps> what? Look 
out behind you! This room also seems empty. Wow, this, this really looks like a trap. There's a throne here. No one's sitting in it. journal. That must be the A that was on the note that I found earlier. Entry 1. The Tome of Unlife has resurfaced after 200 years and in the hands of those imbeciles at the College of Whispers, no less. They cannot even conceive of its power and instead they will use it in their ridiculous bickering crusades among themselves and the Synod. It is the piece of the puzzle I have searched for all these years, and I will not let their petty politicking stand in the way of my glorious destiny. Entry 2. It was almost too easy to manipulate the Synod's hatred of the college. Those idiotic Stendar worshippers have already been informed of the college's heretical acquisition. They will surrender the artifact or risk losing faith with the Elder Council for their questionable practices. Entry 3. As expected, the College of Whispers has not long, was not long in giving up the tome to the Vigil of Stendar. The fools believe the book can be so easily destroyed by their cleansings. They truly have no idea. I must watch and wait for the moment to seize. It will come soon. I am sure of it. Entry 4. It has come to my attention that the Vigil of Stendar will be moving the tome by guarded escort to Skyrim. I can only expect that they are seeking the assistance and knowledge of the neutral College of Winterhold in dealing with the book. The Vigil are ignorant, superstitious fools. But I fear that with the Winterhold's assistance, they may actually succeed. Oh, well, that's a, a compliment for my college. 
I had feared it may come to this. We must strike quickly before they reach Winterhold or take the tome, and its secrets may be lost forever. They will not be long in passing the border. We will strike without warning and without mercy. Entry 5. At last, the Tome of Unlife, so that's what it is, is within my grasp. We have rallied at this desolated tower to the east of Skyrim far enough that any survivors of the vigil will not come looking. It is by no means an ideal place of study, but I must make do while I decipher the tome's secrets. The correlation between the tome and the Celadayan's writings are very promising, yet still the missing secret eludes me. What revelation could Celadayan's sovereign possibly have revealed? Talk about tongue twisters. The tome provided fascinating insights into the process that I have sought for so long, but it does not seem to be enough. Something is missing. I will retreat to the seclusion of the tower's lower depths, where I may study its runes in peace. Oh my goodness. Can I just take this? Okay. And the key to the basement. All right. What's in here? Nothing useful. All right, Isran. I guess we're headed to the basement. You know, it's different having you as a follower because you're not chatty like most of the, the people that I've been with. Talking about carvings and all sorts of other things that sometimes can get very boring. Come on, let's go. Do you see stairs, Israel? Yeah, I need to stick close to you. You cast a glow. This is one of your abilities. Hmm. Is there a door here? Okay. Alright. Your glow isn't going to be enough. We just have to give away our position. There's no one in here waiting for us? I just got an eerie feeling that these skeletons could possibly come to life. It seems like we're involved with some sort of necromancy.
Okay. Antioch's Journal, Volume 2. Entry 6. At last, I have made some sense of the inscriptions here. The tome is not a guide, but the notes and experiments of one like myself who sought the secrets of lichdom. No! Three items in particular receive special mention in the tome. The trappings of a fallen archmage. Hopefully I'm not one of those. The heart of a priest of Arcae. Oh my goodness. And an elixir crafting from one of two ingredients I must investigate further. Entry 7. The arcane and ceremonial significance of these seemingly unrelated artifacts suggests to me some clear and powerful evocation of eternal forces. It should not come as a surprise to me that the Daedric Lords of Oblivion may somehow be involved in the bartering of power for this ritual, but these offerings do not concede with any that would be expected from the traditional sixteen princes. Still, I suspect there must be some form of ritual significance in requiring the heart of the God of Life and Death followers. Mercifully, this is one of the easiest of the tome's requirements to obtain. I have assigned Gundar and some of his agents to ransack the Temple of Arche near Lake Ilanata and perform the necessary rites on some fool. Whoever they leave alive, as long as the organ is extracted properly, I care little. Entry 8. After some extensive research of alchemical records, Saladian's notes and the inscriptions in the tomb, tome, I have sent Selonius and three others to perform the alchemy at the plateau overlooking the reach. I have given him the particulars of the two elixirs, Namira's corrosion and embalming essence. I must ponder over their effects and how they relate to the ritual itself before selecting which compound to create the final elixir with. Entry 9 A pedestrian browsing of Skyrim's magical an... What? Annuads? Okay. Was sufficient to reveal the legend of an archmage of Winterhold whose enchanted raiments fortified his spiritual and physical prowess. Hmm. Archmage Vingald? I don't recall anyone talking about him at the college. Was supposedly buried with his relics and will be only too easy to relieve him of them. I have sent Winestra to locate and exhume the remains near Winterhold and secure his shroud. Entry 10. The last piece of the puzzle appears to lie in Dragon Tail Mountains. I am uncertain why it did not occur to me before. Celadian Sovereign and the offerings and invocations alluded to in the ritual components. The legendary King of Worms and his followers were among the first to achieve the state of lichdom. Surely, if anywhere, some answers or clues as to the missing piece I am seeking will lie where they once worked and practiced our black arts. I have waited decades for this moment, but I can't wait no longer. But I can wait no longer. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't talk that badly. I will leave for the Dragon Tail Mountains in search of the Barrow immediately and send for the artifacts here in Skyrim when it has been located. Okay. Alright, very well. Isran, it looks like we've found everything we need to here. It's time to continue our investigation elsewhere.
Come on. Let's go.